Alright, hey everybody again, this is SK. In our last episode, I believe we just started our first campaign here. We took over these two castles. Um, we got some new generals, it was pretty nifty. Uh, most of whom were completely 100% expendable, and whose basic purpose in life at this point is to basically be a squatter in said castles so the numbers can get higher and I can, you know, feel better about my position in life. Such as that may be. But Baycall here definitely pulled his weight. I'll give him that. Hey, hey! I didn't even notice that during my uh, little off-screen domestic affairs section. We got Gillette. Dude! Welcome back! You might wind up being a squatter this time through, dude. Sorry about that. Don't take it the wrong way, please. You know, by all means, you, you, are, you are the man. You're the bomb diggity and all that. But, you know, I actually have more than three generals for once. So, you just gonna have to make do with what you got. So, during the... <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I almost choked on my own tongue. Uh, during the off-camera domestic section, we actually did get a little bit of a, um... We did get a bit of a story cue. Um, which basically said what I already knew, that Talon is Gizdark's son, and he's basically revolting and out for revenge, yada yada yada. And, you know, he's, he's not cool with that. He doesn't... he does not... He does not like. Mama doesn't like. No, son doesn't like. Whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, Narek, you're going to go over here. No, don't take captives, I don't care about you. Now, you know, that he's basically over here, he's revolted, he wants revenge for the murder of his father, yada yada, blah blah, yakki schmackity, and we basically just have to go in guns blazing and just lay the ever-loving smack down on him and his kin, which I guess would have been... Gizdark, which we also murdered. So at that point, never mind. Forget everything I just said. We're going to have to go lay the smack down on him. And at that point, we can go ahead and... What are you doing? Vasislos? Fat you... Okay. Alrighty. I... Genuinely did not expect that. Where the hell are you going? Oh good, he's going to be coming back. In that case, I'll just go ahead and fortify my stuff, you know, go ahead, make a little bed, um, change the drapes, you know, little things like that. Why is he going in that dir- What the hell is he doing? Did he really- that son of a bitch. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. He wants to play that way, does he? That's fine. Okay, I can play that way too then. No, I don't want to take captives along. There is a- I do genuinely wish that there was some sort of option that I could employ in which um, I could somehow make that not happen at all, ever. So, you know, if I don't want to take a damn captain with me, it's not going to continually ask me if I want to take them. Like, there should be an option somewhere as a, do you want to take captains on, you know, do you want to take, excuse me, you know, automatically decline, you know, non-essential captive takey thingies. Where you going? Wait, you gonna fight me? We gonna fight? Yes, we are. Who's a good little usurper? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Who's gonna get a beat down? Yes, you are. We meet at last, Goldark, you traitorous pig. He's kind of cute looking. Kind of reminds me of Brandon Fraser. You know, no, no, no. I guess the top picture kind of does a little bit. The bottom picture looks more like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Brandon Fraser had a kid. Talon, I had to kill your father. It was... Uh... I'm guessing that's a... Like, visual error. When I heard that you left the front, I had hoped that you would die there. But that has not come to pass. In my absence, you killed my father and usurped his throne. I will watch you die if it is my last living act. You, Greenly, would dare to threaten me? Dun dun dun! Laughable, to say the least. No matter your skill level, it can't be a tenth of mine. Besides, you know not of what you babble. There were dark forces beyond my control at work. Surrender now and I'll guarantee that you live. I will not fall. That was my dear father's mistake. No, I should have your head, you miserable son of a bitch. Ooh. Dude's mad. He mad? Oh, he mad. By my father's grave, I will avenge his death. You have a weak chin. I've always hated weak chins. I, you know, I'm gonna say Goldark, I think he actually does have a surprisingly strong chin, actually. He has that sort of, a, uh, you know, like, Jay Leno-esque, you know, burly, manly, 
thing going on to him. Oh, she's a priest, so I gotta kill her quick. Hmm. Who? Who do I take? I'll use Big Hall. Why not? Make him somewhat useful, I suppose. Let me see. I mean, he does have the little spell pew pew of the pew pew stuff. So maybe that will be somehow of use. And hopefully I can just power power her little soldiers down here before I have to deal with her rezzing them consistently. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and advance them, believe it or not. Which might be a mistake. But I'm hoping that at least this way I can, like I said, power them down. Because that's the best I got. Hopefully it works. I don't know if it will, but hopefully it will. And if not, you know, he's expendable. Wow, that did virtually nothing at all. Advance. Keep advancing. You know, uh, I'm gonna cheat. This is why they changed this in Dragon Force 2. I guarantee you this is why they changed this in Dragon Force 2, specifically for this reason. I'm cheating the shit out of this game. I mean, they could theoretically kill me in the next 67 seconds. Actually, they can very much kill me in the next 67 seconds. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get them to just run around in a circle. Uh, try advancing. Nope, 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 nope. Disperse again. Yeah, I, I really am starting to remember why I disliked archers so heavily. In the fact that they are completely and utterly I mean, wholly inferior to mages in every single feasible way that I think except for harpies. I'm pretty sure harpies are the only thing that archers are actually good at and better at than mages. Whereas mages are just superior. And it's, it's a balance issue that I think they changed in the, the sequel. Wow, please don't die. Please don't die. That's right. Use your MP. I don't care if you retreat. So long as you use your MP and waste it because you're a dumb, dumb, stupid head AI. So long as you waste it, don't die, man. You are faceless mook, you are clearly expendable as I have mentioned in the past, but if you could not die, that would be really awesome. I mean, I'll let you die if I need to, but I would prefer it if you didn't. You got one second, can you survive it? Sweet. Draws are draws. I feel like I'm saying drawers in some sort of... Un maybe not uncouth, but... A slang that I am not particularly fond- maybe not fond of, but look, I'm just going to a little white girl. I can't pull it off even if I tried. He has zero monks. How interesting. Alright, let's see what we got. I'll use you. Erin. That way you can just nuke him, and again, if we draw, we draw. That's fine. I can make it work one way or another. Somebody may just have to pull double duty, but I'll make it happen. You know, that dude is awfully... Awfully cocky. The steely eyes of your destroy. You have 20 people shooting rods of sharpened metal to your face. And... Well, whatever, more power to him, I suppose. If he thinks he can block that out like Janny... Janny? Jackie Chan, more power to him. I mean, he's wrong, he'll die, but who am I to tell him otherwise? Stand by. Win Dancer. And then he can be basically pelted to death, which is going to be fantastic. Now, one thing I wonder, when it comes to... When it comes to the actual on the summons and whatnot, the Wind Dancer, Fire, Breather, uh, no, 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 it's called, uh... I think it was called Dante's Inferno, I think the fire one is. I'm wondering if there's actually a different like algorithm for each of them. If one is objectively better than the other, or if it's basically just a visual perk, you know? Some spirit users prefer fire, some prefer water, some prefer wind, etc, etc. But, I mean, all I know is that it does virtually no damage whatsoever to these- oh my god. Please, please kill him. Please. Please kill him. Okay, stand by. There. Double the fun. And one of you's gotta make contact at some point. I mean, he's literally 15 feet away. I'm pretty sure I've made this complaint before. But seriously, he's 15 freaking feet away. And there are people on either side of him. He's a goddamn training dummy. How are you not hitting him? 
Well, whatever. I'm gonna take drink in the meantime. Hopefully we'd be able to kill him before he times out. You can do it. You can do it, you can't do it. It's, it's, at this point, statistically impossible. Ugh. Oh. Aaron, you suck. You suck. Archers suck. They suck so bad. All years. But hey, at least they're both out of the system now. None of them have soldiers. How odd. No, I'm not doing it again. Car has. Go for it. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. No rush 20. Cannot defeat me. Now, can Bagrel die? I know there is some, like, named, you know, NPCs. Whoops. Sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I was apologizing to the, uh, apologizing to the mic, I guess. Um, I know there's some named NPCs that can bite the big one when you defeat them. I can't remember which ones they are, but I thought he was one of them that could. Oh, excuse me. Sonic Boom. That's another thing I wonder if the, um, if the spells in here have different algorithms. Oh, that's just not nice. Who said you could play, you know, Smoke Me at my own game? I never- we never made that agreement, thank you. But I wonder if these spells have different algorithms depending upon, um, the general type, or if it's different depending upon the actual general itself, if it's depending upon the stats, or if it's depending upon- like, if- I'm sure there's gotta be some kind of math involved that maybe, you know, X general. Uh, has Y defense, and when you use Z spell, it subtracts X and Y and, you know, solve for X and all of that crap. I hated algebra. God, I hated algebra. Okay, I'm gonna use you again, Carhaz. Uh, I was trying to potentially use Goldark and try to level him up some, but, well, this tactic actually works. The last two times I was trying to use ranged people, it just wound up it wound up, excuse me, English me speaking at good. It wound up achieving nothing except drawing them out, so... At least this way, if win or lose, at least it'll be quick. Which I'm okay with, because... Well, it's quick. Let's just put it that way. My commentary is not very insightful at all, is it? <laughs> now, Viper here... For starters, doesn't seem to have a very good eye patch because it seems to be actually sitting underneath his eye, and that that seems to be defeating the purpose of having an eye patch at all, unless he just has some sort of like weird eye infection or something, and it's constantly like dripping down his face or something, and he's using that as sort of a uh, a pouch to hold all of the ickiness, so that way people don't see all of the unsightly thing or think that he's somehow girly and crying. And no, no, it's just just a. It's just a chronic eye infection, you know. My doctor said I could do this and make sure that uh, I don't wind up hurting people with it. That I don't wind up spreading the infection and people, you know, don't see it as terribly unsightly. I never dreamed I'd be fighting against you. Aww. Aww, it's a story point. Aww, how sweet. I'm gonna kick his ass anyway. And that's what he gets for trying to attack another castle and run away from me. He could've just stood there and took it like a man, but nope. He had to run away and attack another castle. The princess was not there, was it? She. It. Shim. Whatever. Ouch. Oh, that's right. She only has Resurrect, so that kind of defeats the purpose of that, doesn't it? That's unfortunate. Advance? Or for you, that is. Eh. Now. To sit back! I guess that's what I get for getting decaffeinated tea. Uh-oh. Ow. Well, that's not that bad. Oh! Good God almighty, that hurt! Lyria has absolutely no health to speak of, and this saddens me greatly. And now we sit back and we wait. I hope you all got a coffee ready, because... I kind of wish I did. While we wait for the slow and inevitable execution of Talon, Oh man, really? 
head is just uncalled for. I never said you could do that. Alright, then stand by. Reset the formation. If I lose a couple people, so be it. I mean, it's not like she doesn't have freaking resurrect anyway, which reminds me. I can resurrect. Saves me troops. <laughs> isn't that way isn't that a weird way of doing cost cutting? Cost what? Cost cutting measures. That's what I was trying to say. I swear to god, I speak English as a first language. You probably can't tell, but I do. Synchronized pew pewing. And they still can't hit him. <sighs> I mean, I know it's an RPG game and there are strong elements of RNG and dice rolling involved, but for God's sake, you have 10 seconds left. Thank you. Thank you very much for killing him. Very appreciated. Very. Truly. Yay, verily. Oh wow, I didn't realize that I took all five of them captive. Score! I don't have to do the little um, army trick. Wait, I'm meeting them on the battlefield. I can't do that anyway. Shaz! Alright. Leadership power increased by one HP by two. Yay! She's not level one anymore. Fantastic. Okay. Direct? Okay, good. You go there, you stay there. And here's where the real freaking fun begins, because I'm going to have to grab everybody here and just power level the shit out of this castle. Cause this castle is going to see so much warfare. Like so much warfare, is that? Oh, okay, Never mind. This castle is gonna get wrecked. And I mean wrecked something awful at that. Now, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a story point after this, so I won't stop just yet. I'll go through that and then I'll do all the domestic stuff off screen. So let's see what we got. wallow in shame. If you die, will you be satisfied? What do you mean? You can't avenge your father, so you take death instead? Is that what you want? You are making sport of me. If I were you, I would ask for my life, even in shame. That's an odd thing. Most Japanese people believe in death before dishonor. Even in shame. Only if you were alive can you hope to reach your goal. You choose death and you choose the way of the coward. Ha! Huh. That is completely the opposite of you know, the normal, stereotypical Japanese philosophy. But, what do you want me to do? Be my man! <laughs> I know that's not what they meant. I know what they were going for, but... Wow. <clears throat> then I will let you live. Are you insane? Don't you know that I seek your death? If you think you can kill me, come forth any time. Damn. That is brazen. If you think you can kill me, do it. Go for it. If you are successful, you will become the king. No one should object to that. Alright. You should know, for as long as I am working for you, my friends will probably fall in with you too. But do not forget. Oops, I went past that, whatever. Let your guard down, and that is the moment you die. My lord is Lord Talon, only. If you don't mind my age, I will follow you, sure. War is war, whatever you want, Mr. Goopy Eye. I follow the cult of chivalry, I have sworn my oath to Talon. I do not care, it is better than rotting here. If I'm with my oldest sister, I will go anywhere. Who's her oldest sister? Oh, is that Aisha? Is that how? Oh, okay. I pray that you will keep your undaunted spirit. Was that it? Okay, I'm not gonna touch that yet. General Roll of Honor, yada 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 yada. Everyone is awesome, but go on scythe because they're garbage. Alrighty, so that seems to be everything for the moment, and I will be seeing you guys next time after the domestic fair and see how um see how I'm going to be getting myself out of this mess. Alright?